Dion with Racers 360. Today we're going to be talking about one subject that we see drivers consistently struggling with, which is how to sacrifice one corner step for the next, how much to sacrifice, and when to know whether you actually want to do it or not. So today we're going to be using video from Heartland Motorsports Park. There's a great complex of corners that lead directly one into another that consistently get slower, slower, slower that eventually lead onto a straightaway. We're going to break down there and talk about everything you need to know to be able to set up yourself up to know when should you sacrifice, how much to sacrifice, and uh, hopefully get you faster and safer around the racetrack. So let's go ahead and minimize this, bring this to the lower left corner. So for all of you that are maybe less familiar with Heartland, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play at full speed. Let's just watch our driver go through this section. So we're going to come in here. The first left hander is the fastest one. So we're coming in roughly about an 80 mile an hour entry corner, using the road, setting up the middle of the road right now. Slower right-hander, shorter straightaway, leading to a slower left-hander that leads into a little bit longer of a straightaway. But here's the critical part. Our slow right-hander immediately leading into a very slow left-hander that leads onto a very our front straightaway, so our long straightaway out of there. So you can see lots of different corners, and there's a lot going on from one to the next, one to the next. Eyes is really important. So what corners here matter the most? What would I be focused on initially? So I think we can all agree the obvious one is the final corner leading on to that front straightaway and getting a good exit. Absolutely. Probably the most important thing in this section. The second most important corner is one that's going to be a little bit harder to tell. What I'm looking for here is, well, what's going to set me up to be as fast as possible over a longer distance? And what is the speed of the corners? I want to be faster uh, averagely faster over a longer distance. Obvious, right? What I would say the most, second most important corner is here is actually the first one. That's the highest speed corner, and it's a pretty long duration corner. So what a lot of drivers do, and you can see on this lap, okay, our driver misses the apex a little bit. It doesn't really matter too much for what we're focusing on. But you can see our driver's trying to have a late apex. So you can see at the late turning point, they're trying to hit this apex that's pretty late. Anytime that we have a later apex typically means we're turning later and more aggressively, which means we're typically over, or uh, not, maybe not over slowing, but having to slow down more than an earlier turn in point because of that harder turn in. So you can see our driver is kind of saying, hey, let's have a later apex. But then you can see they have that little bit of later of an apex. They miss it. They run decently wide, but they're not using all of the track. And then when they turn in, they've sacrificed, but they don't get all the way back to the left. You can see. Our driver just looks like they don't really have a mission here. They're, they're a little bit lost. So in this corner, you have really two options, right? You can sacrifice that first left-hander to get our car aligned out to the left to really set up for this next right-hander. Or you can say, screw that next right-hander. Let me flow as much speed as possible for this left-hander. Run out and use all the road. Which one would you choose? Here... I want to run as much speed as possible through this left-hander, and I've got a little bit of a straightaway here, so I can work it a little bit back to the left. Well, why do I care less about this next right-hander and more about this previous corner? So what we can do is look up, talk about the distance and the speed, right? So we're coming in here. We're going to be running faster, and it's a longer distance. So we're coming in, and if we are going to say, hey, let's just be as fast as possible through this next left-hander, Versus the driver that's sacrificing. It's fair to say that the driver bringing as much speed in. It's going to be faster from about here all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way to about here. -ish. So that's a pretty long distance. The driver that sacrificed that distance to set up for this next right-hander will be faster from about here to about here. Much shorter amount of time. So you can't make up enough. And the next thing is... If you're going to really sacrifice that for that second right-hander, it does nothing for you because you're going to end up in the same place uh, and it just isn't that good. So you can see what I'm thinking about is, well, how do I really maximize to be faster for a longer period of time? And I do prioritize those faster corners a little bit more. So through this section here, what I'd like to see our driver do, bring in an earlier apex and get out use all of the road out over here, and then I never want to see that wheel straight. Because yes, you have a little bit of time to hustle it somewhat back to the left. So I can use all of the road out over here and probably get back exactly to where our driver is right now and not sacrifice anything. 
So one thing to think about is if you're going to sacrifice, don't get lazy. Really sacrifice. We see too many drivers that either over sacrifice or get lazy with their sacrifice speed and then don't get the advantage of holding the car further to the left. So you can see our driver trying to try to sacrifice here. They got lazy and now they're not going to gain anything into the next right here. They just lost time. So you really have to be decisive. And so many things in motorsports about being decisive. So kind of sacrifice or not. Now, to give that a little bit more context and a little bit more nuance, one of the uh, biggest mistakes when it comes to sacrifice, and this is going to be a, a little bit higher level uh, learning lesson, is just because we do need to be keep it to the right, and at the turn and point to the next corner. Doesn't mean at the X of the previous corner that we need to be perfectly to the right. So this is a great example here where the second corner, that left-hander, we wanna be all the way to the right because we wanna really sacrifice and, and be fast out of the next left-hander. So what a lot of drivers will do is they'll over-sacrifice in this right-hander and they'll say, okay, I wanna have my, be all the way to the right over here. And that means they're gonna hug, hug, hug all the way back in here. Now, we don't have enough time to get all the way out to the middle of the track, but everything in racing is about being smooth. And any time that you make an overcorrection, overemphasize that, you're losing a lot more time than you actually would think. So here, I wanna see our driver, you know, get a tire width off the inside, just a little bit, because that just that little bit of margin allows you to roll more speed than you would think and, and maximize your run. So even if you think about how much time, you can see, look, tire width off, working it back to the right, that's beautiful. Before we start working with them, they're all the way to the right, that whole section, and they're probably losing about three tenths of a second just because of that. So always ask yourself, what's most important? Okay, if I need to set up all the way to the right, I'm going to start by holding it right. And every lap, I want to let the car drift a little bit more left, a little bit more left, a little bit more left, and rolling a little bit more speed, a little bit more speed, until I can no longer get it back to where I need to get it to the next corner. And then I know, hey, I'm over the limit. But that's a good way to test, well, how much am I, can I gain still back in this area without sacrificing the important stuff? And that's everything in racing is knowing what you want to execute on, focusing there, and then getting the rest of it slowly working up to where you just go over that limit a little bit, bringing it back in, and then you know where it is, and then you get to retest it all the time. So if you're on any track where you have this type of corner where you've got to hold it to the right, don't be perfectly in the right here. And that's something you can look at your own video and, and, and look at. And if you're already to the right, work on just letting it come off just a little bit here. The next thing as well, this is a great corner to work on trail braking. It's an extra little tidbit here. So if you want to keep the car sacrificing one area, that means you're really asking for front grip. You want that rotation. That's where trail braking becomes even more important. And typically I can think of off the top of my head, here's an example, turn four at VIR is a great example, 10A at Road Atlanta is an example, where I want to trail break past that actual apex point. So in a corner here, I want to be trail breaking, trail breaking, trail breaking until about here and then get a squirt of full throttle because that's going to get the car more rotated where I want to and it's going to allow me to get that more aggressive to throttle. See how our driver is already to throttle back in here, which means it's going to make the car understeer more because you're taking weight off the front end and it's going to be harder for you to keep it to the right. So trail braking will allow you to have an easier time holding it right here at a higher speed and allow you to get a better exit and have more entry speed. So in these types of corners, trail braking, trail braking becomes even more important. Holding it right, getting back there, getting it back in. So the key points here are always think about how can you be faster over a longer distance, a longer period of time, and then a little bit of context of where the faster corners are, are important. So here at Heartland, I'm gonna care about the exit out of here onto that front straightaway, priority one. Priority two, I know I don't really need to sacrifice much after that first right, uh, left-hander, the first corner. I'm going to bring as much speed as possible there, and that momentum is going to help me for that next right and the next left-hander. So that's been our breakdown about sacrificing corners. Hopefully that helps. We're looking forward to hearing your feedback and hearing your thoughts. And if you're looking for how you can get personally coached by the very best in the industry, 
For only $99, we hope you'll check out racers360.com where you can send in your onboard video and you don't need the data. A simple GoPro, even smartphone video works. And our pro coaches, Jade Buford, Cameron Lawrence, Mike Skeen, the best in the business, Memo Giddley, will go through corner by corner and give you actionable coaching advice from the top minds on what you can be doing to drive faster and safer. And for all of you racers out there as well, we can give racecraft advice as well, overtaking race starts, all of that. You can find out more at racers360.com. It's how drivers are finding three, four, five seconds a lap by working with the very, very best. So hopefully we'll see you uh, and work with you soon. 